Hello! <laughs> we are starting a new game. We still have our other games going on, that's fine. But today we're going to play Orwell. Although, I don't really know that much about it, to be honest. So, let's go see how Beth. It's boring. Um, this one. <laughs> it's a little bit Asian, though. I'm not really. Are interesting pictures. This doesn't go with this girl. Um, it's optional, so nah. Uh, sure. Yeah, I agree. Um, of the nation. Place is great, so cool. Logging in. Um, okay, Freedom Plaza, April twelfth, two thousand seventeen, around seven p.m. Pretty cool. Oh. No record found. <laughs> yeah, I mean, cool place. Police record found. <gasps> dun dun dun. Few people died. Um, episode one: the clocks were striking thirteen. Okay, you're online. Good. Sims or Sims? S Sims. I'm gonna call you Sims. Call me S Sims. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will both we will form both the first and last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've attached the reader tool for you. Its purpose is drawing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Okay. Headlines. The leading newspaper. Okay. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I have activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. This is the file. Oh, I like those like, ads and everything. That's so funny. Okay. The leading newspaper of the nation. Fast, precise, honest. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Oh, so when I said a few, how is accurate? <laughs> um, Bonton. Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Um, three people killed, five seriously injured, a 
Authorities receive strange letter. Okay. Approximately 7.50 p.m. on Wednesday evening, an explosive device detonated on the Free Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to official police re reports, three people were killed, and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using cell phone using a cell phone signal. signal. Police reports also confirmed that several hours late, earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedanken sind frei. Sorry. Um, which is, the thoughts are free. Had reached local third authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly commending the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought, brought to justice. Okay. Uh, negotiations in Trifilth failed. Okay. Violent riots are all too common in the shattered city of Trifilth. Photo Parpes. Oh, Don't have to do that. Um. Okay. Peace negotiations in the riot ridden Pergesian capital city, Trifilth. Triflith. Oh, it's Trif. Trifleth. I've been saying trifilth. It's a bunch of filth. Um, trifleth have have been aborted without any last without any result last night. Independent resources sources. Oh my God! Report that President Kassar abruptly cut off in communication with opposition representatives as later presented a tangible path plan for the organization of re-elections. The news about the premature cancellation of the negotiations caused thousands of people to resume demonstrations in the capital. It has been reported that demonstrators wearing hoods threw incendiary material into the shop windows and onto cars. The police struggled to keep the situation under control. Prime Minister Bain Blaine stated his worries about the negative developments regarding the political situation of the neighboring country and has requested both sides to resume diplomatic discussions. Great. Okay, movie shooting completed. Oh, a hundred gray shadows. <laughs> I wonder what that is about shooting of gray shadow saga. Lasting four years, finalized. Third part of the saga to hit movie theaters the next Valentine's Day. Ooh, this seems like the, the more interesting story. Hillberry. After a lengthy shoot in the hills of Bonton, self proclaimed visionary director Sumishi Aran announced that the filming of his eagerly awaited romantic drama, A Hundred Grey Shadows, has finally come to an end, announced via his timeline's profile yesterday. The brash director said that he was eager to begin post-production in the final editing stages before the conclusion to the Grey Shadow series would hit the cinemas on Valentine's Day next year. The third and final chapter of the Grey Shadow saga, previous releases being a Grey Shadow and another Grey Shadow, <laughs> a Grey Shadow and another Grey <laughs> so great, was announced to be released almost four years ago, but it was postponed numerous times due to production, of pro production problems. Fans had speculated that this was largely due to the breakdown of Hollywood power couple Betty Yvonne and Mike McDeal, who have, a long, who have had long-lasting quarrels during the filming as a result. One production hand was reported to say that these spats were getting out of control and that the completion of any scene featuring both actors was nothing short of pulling teeth. When we reached out to Rhubarb Productions to get a comment, they declined the rumors and claimed them to be more mere speculation. 
Okay. This is just called website. Well, I can like play where else? Home? This is home. Alright. Unknown person. Date of birth. Oh, okay. The profiler holds all all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue-haired woman that the CT CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Okay. Physique. I'm looking at everything. Background. Personality. Activities, aliases, accounts. Well, it's not like giving me much information, is it? degrees celsius today is a bright cold day some clouds will show up in the early afternoon only to give way again to a clear sky at sundown quote of the day the price of freedom is eternal vigilance lh courtney okay It is completed, I guess, but like, we'll see, it's like, that's not really giving me much more information. So like, what else? Oh, that's what, wow. I'm so dumb. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I did not know what the arrest record was. Okay, sorry, I should have realized that. The highlighted elements of the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Wow. Hovering over data chunks will reveal the relevance to the case and any connections information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks in the police database into a profile and upload them to our servers. Oh. Can I put the picture? Yeah, I did that. Okay. Arrest date July 10th to 16. Assault on a police officer, Duncan Lloyd. Bonson Central PD. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protest protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, suspect cooperated immediately. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for orals to identify a person. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been locked. We will need this info to prog to progress. Assault on police officer. Ooh. Good. With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? Not really. 
<laughs> I do not. Find data re revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. Let's just... woman a terrorist? The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza. During a rampage oh, as part of a demonstration. The exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up there right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Okay. Who is artist by profession? Damn artist. Who? Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing up memorials to pieces by any chance? Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Sorry, now I'm going to I'm going into this case blind. The oral ethical codes dictates codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access documents of target persons. Advisors like me will only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Okay, so we shouldn't say everything then. Great. Cassandra's portfolio. Hi, I'm Cassie, a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. Glad you found me. Finally, found the courage to quit my dull day job, focus on my art career, and pull my stuff on port.folio. <laughs> Below you will find a hand-picked selection of my latest works. You can browse through them by clicking the arrows on the left and right side of the pictures below. Wow, thank you for telling me how to go through photos. See something you like? <laughs> Why, of course you do. Because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Leave a message on my Utel account, the Cassie 92, found a date of birth, kind of, 92 is probably your birth year, huh? And tell me which piece you'd like. I'm going to make a fine art print and then ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing, free of charge. Now off you go and have fun. Now all of a sudden, that's very suspicious. You don't, you don't just send free art to people. You have shipping costs, at least. No. Unless she means shipping's free and they to pay for everything else. Oh. My beloved furba, Kikiko. Kikiko. Definitely one of the family, definitely the only family I need. Yep, that be you is me. I never sure, I was never sure about the title though. The Businessman's Forgotten Daughter, or The Victim of Traditionalism in Pink. What do you think? A Christmas present for my darling. This was actually meant to be a private piece, but oh well, I'd have a hard time keeping it to myself. Okay. 
Let's put that in. Mm, forgotten daughter, why not? Not this. You only have three photos in your portfolio? Girl. Good! You found a chat handle that would allow us to overhear any conversation on that count. Oh. Okay. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Whoa. Oh, oh, nothing yet. Okay. Focus on my art career. Just gonna put everything in there for, you know, for the first one. Why not? Him, interesting. We should find out what that job was. Unknown person. Hey, you. Hey, Jossie. Josie? Call you Jossie. I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me, Sherlock. You gonna type? I'm in the middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I've lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. It's just her, probably her boyfriend's card. Wine, does that Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and all-around badass, have in mind this time? Prom, just a business call from one of his favorite clients. Actually, yes, that was exactly blah, 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 whatever. I thought as much. I guess I better pick up shitloads of wine. You'll have to get this client of yours pretty bones to handle that business. One bottle should be fine. She's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up on those party felt pills from Big Pharma, aka my parents' son. Daughter of former. Sure, why not? Watergate pharma entrepreneurs. That does ring a bell. Products. Company jobs, products. Watergate Pharmaceuticals enriches lives with our industry leading range of products, making an important contribution to your well being. Metharian, Metharian Blue. Mm. There's a lot of pills. Well, we have to go back to that. The Silsa Stars. Oh, jobs. Jobs, I'm looking for positions. Are people for, yeah. Um, you know, they want the usual, they want work experience. Uh, you know, a master's degree, English, French, and Chinese, desirable. Uh, that's a lot. Research intern. Oh, yes, for internship. Um, cool. Look at company. Is that our dad or something? <laughs> yeah, probably is. Okay. <clears throat> Aha! Okay. Junior COO. Carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Allison Bruno's daughter, Cassandra, will soon be joined the executive ranks. Her business acumen and unique flair will write the next chapter of her 85 year strong legacy. And this is before she dyed her hair. Got one in there. 
Is that actually the same person? Yeah, she looks a lot different. Yeah, you know, those artists just like to uh, change their hair a lot. Um, let's drop this in here. So you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Watergate is really living in Wonderland? Somehow I doubt that. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I can't identify as wrong so easily? Oh, no, I'm just putting something in here. I, I didn't think she actually lives there. Like, calm down, dude.